I define goodness as Confucius defines goodness, and I talk about this in the book, which is his concept of Jen. And the idea of Jen, and I think it nicely translates to the idea of goodness, is that you treat others with respect and kindness in a fashion that brings out their better nature. That's one of the oldest questions in human thought, is how do we think about how we're good and how do we think about the character of other people? And people have answered it in different ways in terms of spiritual conviction or do they act in virtuous ways. Uh, and being a scientist and prone to measurement, I came up with this idea of what I call the gen ratio, which is a way to think about how good other people are or how you are, a neighborhood is, or a, a community. And very simply, it is in the numerator of the ratio, you put uh, the ways or events in which you've brought out the good in somebody. In the den denominator, you put the times in which you've brought out their worst nature. And the bigger the score, uh, the better the person. The, the reconciliation is that the, um, what they both share, sort of a spiritual perspective upon how to be a good person and how to lead a meaningful life, and then the Darwinian perspective upon it, how, what they share is a, ideally a very close observation of who human beings are and who we are uh, and what our nature is. Um, and so I think that's the reconciliation. And what really encourages me is that uh, there is tremendous commonality in, in these two ways of knowing. When Karen Armstrong, the great religious scholar, was asked what unites the world's religions and the ways of knowing from Buddhism to Judeo-Christian thought, she said, compassion. And when Charles Darwin started to ponder what are our strongest instincts, uh, Charles Darwin said, sympathy is our strongest instinct. So I think there's tremendous convergence. Mm -hmm.